Hi, welcome back to the video on how to do assessment design in open learning. So I believe all of you have set up the course outcome or the outcomes in the course setup here. So it is supposed to be unique according to each of the lesson or module or chapter that you have. But before we go detail about this, let me have a look at this particular template okay so in this template which I have given to you earlier right so it consists of the chapter the activity and the assessment that you are supposed to have for that particular course setup okay so let's say chapter number one introduction to employment process so you can have the tag as introduction and then if or for example you have two activities for chapter one each individual activity you need to have unique and individual tag the same goes to the assessment for example you have two quizzes for chapter one so this template is going to be useful for you for your reference and also for you to check whether you have the tag correct or not let's go back to this part Okay, how to have report design after you have set up the outcomes. So you go to assessment. Okay, you click on report design. And it will bring you to this outlook. For those who have attended the workshop earlier, I know that you are having problem in adding the criterion. So I have figured it out and then found out the problem comes from this monitoring report. All of you didn't set up monitoring report first, but you straight away go to the cost outcome report. For example, here. Right. So what I want you to do is to delete all the cost outcome report first. So it's going to be totally new. You have to add a new report which is going to be this monitoring report so when you add a new report you name it or the report title should be monitoring report total score for it should be 100 but you can leave all the criteria with for the individual parts over here blank okay right so monitoring report is actually to show what you have for the activities and the assessment. So all the lesson over here will appear automatically when you have set it up in the outcomes earlier. Okay, so here, for example, lesson one, you have three questions followed by three quizzes or assessment. So this is the original outlook for this module so this is module number one or lesson number one foundation of automotive industry so this is the module right if you still remember the tag for this module is foundation okay and then inside this module there are three activities okay under lesson number one as well this SME has three quizzes quiz one quiz two and quiz 3 so that is the reason why over here there are three questions okay which appear under the module and there are three quizzes right so let's click the arrow button here okay you can choose the assessment type according to your preferences okay let's go to the evidence of learning so if you can see over here it is a tag post so the post is tagged with engineering or foundation but not post tag with future trend or classic car okay so what is it about click on the edit button here and you can see the features again the lesson or the module tag is foundation and the question tag is engineering so that is the reason why you need to pair it both 
you need to have the tag for the module and also the tag for that particular question. Again, there are three questions in this lesson. So each question has its own tag. So question number two, the tag is future trend. Question number three, the tag is classic car. But you don't want the system to grab the information from these two questions. So you have to have it in this box. Do not include post. So you just type, okay? And this is where the template given to you earlier can help you for your reference. And also classic car, you put it inside here. You want the system to grab only information from the module, which is the tag is foundation, and also the information from the question, which is the tag is engineering. So once you are done with this, just click done. Okay, so this is for the question. Right, let's say you have the quizzes, the assessment in a separated page. For example, this is the module and quiz one is being separated from the module. So you are supposed to have it like this. For example, quiz one, let's click on the arrow button there. Okay, we go to the tag post. So the tag for this quiz, let's go to the bottom of it, is origin. So this is quiz one, the tag is origin. Okay, so click on edit button here. Again, you have to have the tag for the module, which is foundation, and also the tag for the quiz, which is origin. Remember, in module one, there are several other tags, which is engineering, future trend, classic car, history, and construction. All of these tags fall, fall under the questions and also the other quizzes. So you have to make sure that it goes accordingly. So if you want to grab the system, if you want the system to grab only information from quiz number one, so you need to put the tag on the module and also the tag on the quiz. Once you are done over here, click done. Okay. Since that you have the quiz appear in a separated page, so what you are supposed to do next is to have or to click on the additional focus page function. So you just click here at the page, you type quiz, and then you will have the list of quizzes that you have set it in the module. So you select which one is the correct one. In this case, lesson one, it is quiz one. So it has been selected here. Okay, right. So this is going to help you with the system on how to grab the information. Okay, so this is on the monitoring report. You scroll down to the bottom of the page. Don't forget to click the save button. Once you are done with this, you can go back to the next report. So you are going to add a new report under monitoring report. Again, monitoring report consists of all the lesson and all the questions or quizzes that falls under individual lesson. Okay, next you are going to create the cost outcome report. So this one belongs to your teaching plan. So for example, if you have five, four or three cost outcome, you need, you need to name it in the report. So example here, cost outcome one. Okay, click edit. I just click, do not update here. Okay. So again, let's go to the cost outcome one here. Right, in cost outcome one, the questions that falls under this CO only comes from lesson one, lesson two, 
and that's it okay so only lesson one and lesson two falls under this cost outcome okay so again you have to do this manually right you have to put in the question what is the name of the question you have to put the mark right select the assessment type and then evidence of learning the tagging part okay if it is a quiz you are supposed to put it like this with the addition of additional focus page okay again remember this is very crucial because you have to put in the marks for individual questions or assessment that you have set up okay the total score for this cost outcome should be put to 100 but the criteria weight for that individual question or assessment or the quiz should be given accordingly so in this part only lesson one and lesson two fall under cost outcome one okay we have done with this don't forget scroll down to the bottom of the page click save and then you go to assessment design again right for the monitoring report the report weight should be zero but the cost outcome report you have to put the report weight accordingly so in this case for cost outcome one report the report weight is 20 percent for cost outcome two the report weight is 10 percent cost outcome three the report weight is 10 percent cost outcome four the report weight is 40 percent and cost outcome five the report weight is 20 percent so 40 plus 20 here 60 percent and then we have another 10 here 70 80 and the last one is 20 percent and it contributes to 100 percent so you have to make sure for this particular part the monitoring report should be left zero percent but the rest of the cost outcome report you have to give the marks accordingly or the report weight accordingly okay so from here you are done so this is how you are supposed to set your assessment design okay which is go to cost setup click cost outcomes and then you put the tag according to all of the lesson or module or chapter that you have in the course and then you go to assessment you click on report design and first you start with the monitoring report which consists of all the lessons and also all of the questions and quizzes that comes with it and then you go next to the individual cost outcome report so it doesn't matter if you have only three cost outcome or maybe four cost outcome or five cost outcomes you need to have it accordingly so you just arrange it cost outcome one cost outcome two three four and five if you have it so i believe that is all from me if you have any question please ask me or you can contact me personally thank you very much for watching and good luck